All right, since it's the first time we've talked in October, might as well cover the monthly close for Bitcoin. So I got a lot of positives and one concerning point. So we'll we'll do all the positives first and then we'll wrap it up with the 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 scare factor. All right, so the monthly chart, Bitcoin we closed uh after tapping again on the 50 month, really 3 out of the 4 months been right right there. Right, previous resistance, right, resistance we've covered this in depth. Um and now moving back to the upside. So good sign. We're above all the moving averages on the monthly. Great. We're above the median of the Bollinger Band. Great. Um, we just want to see these moving averages start crossing, right? This eight, as, as you see it crosses the 50, we need to see it cross the orange, which is the 34 month and then the 21 month. And really just more, more upside for uh, the month ahead. So we'll see where we close. Now the good, also good side is, uh, you know, uh, all of September, we went up uh, about 4% or $1,000 already, uh, just, you know, 12 hours into <laughs> October. And we're like, uh, or one day into October, we're, we're, um, uh, already above that. So maybe more volatile October, right? Um, so the most positive, the most bullish you could possibly get and hope for, for the bulls in October is to close a new, uh, all time high or, you know, local high, right? So we closed at 30,500. So if we could do that, somehow manage or even get up in that range, 30K, right? If we close above 30K, right? That's a weekly, daily, three day, right? All those charts that we looked at, that would be phenomenal, right? That would be kind of our best case scenario for the bulls this month, close above 30,500. Um, the, the downside would be is if we come back down, uh, you know, maybe, or we say we go to 29 or 30 K and then we come and sell off and we close under this 21 month under 28 K that would be bad. Um, uh, we don't want that, right. That would be like a kind of a, a monthly sell off. Right. So that would be, uh, you know, that, that, that would likely lead me to say yeah, at minimum sideways the rest of the year or, uh, you know, maybe the lows aren't in yet for these locals. Maybe we'll make another scare again down to like 23, 24 and, you know, spook everybody, right? We could do that. However, right, the Bollinger Bands are cinching up on the monthly, right? You don't, this takes a while, right? When's the last time we've seen the monthly Bollinger Bands, you know, get narrow like this? Usually before, uh, you know, we go into bigger phases of the bull market, right? Name it, look at how narrow we got back here before, entering really our final phase of the bull market. Um, now, all all cycles are going to have their own characteristics, and I don't think just because we squeeze like this and start to lift off that we're in our final six months of a bull market. I'm not saying that, but you can certainly, it's hard to argue that we're getting ready to do something bigger, and the odds are to the upside, right? Where, you know, this time next year, we should at least be knocking on the door, if not breaking, have already broken, all-time highs. Literally all time highs this time, not local highs. Seventy <laughs> uh, k plus by you know twelve months from now. The house, I don't, I don't know anybody that would argue you know deeply against that with any kind of facts, right? As at least being a possibility, right? Um, so if we if we're saying that, then the Bollinger Bands are likely going to continue to narrow over the coming months, right? So let's just kind of do a loose something like this. Going into January, right? We're kind of going into the rest of this year into Q1, right? It seems like this is pretty much likely to happen. Something like that, right? So that that would be even pinching, you know, 50% more than they are now, right? And let's say, you know, we just kind of ho-hum around or maybe you just like creep, creeping up here, right? And then we start to make our move. This is the likely scenario. I don't know about from here to the end of the year, but obviously the likelihood is to the upside, right? over the coming years, right? That's what we're looking for. So sometime between now and, you know, next summer, we should be loosely following this line, whether or not the prices are higher or lower throughout, right? This is just kind of the 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 trend, the average trend line, I would, I would say, right? So we do something like this, the Bollinger Bands kind of follow, right? And, you know, we just kind of just trend up. And, you know, when we start to make these power moves, it's just like month after month after month after month, outside the Bollinger Bands, right? You know, that's that's the key here, right? We're getting outside the bands and it, it's months at a time. Um, 
now maybe it takes longer, right? Maybe we stay down here and just kind of creep up for the next six, eight, nine months. And we just kind of really just slowly move up, right? This is where everyone's patience thin. But then we enter our final phase. And then we're looking at like, you know, six to 12 months of just, like I said, outside the Bollinger Bands. That's what we're looking for. A really a monthly close outside the Bollinger Bands. And I'd say we're going to really start to uh, press momentum to the upside. So just kind of speculating out here, long time ahead. Um, but since it's the monthly close, you know, it, it, it's it's fun to talk about, you know, the monthly candles. So this is kind of loosely fit to what I kind of foresee happening. You know, um, the most, most, most bullish case is, you know, we're at, you know, 35, 40K come, you know, early next year. Or the more likelihood, because look at all the moving averages. I mean, they're just fucking flatlined here. Uh, we're probably going to be within, you know, low 30s to upper 20s sometime in early Q1, right? That's still the odds so far. Um, you know, it could change by the end of October, end of November. Sure, we can, we're going to be willing to change, but something like this is um, is kind of where I'm seeing. And, you know, uh, I, once we break this close, right, then we can really start to shift gears toward the heavier bulls, right? We close above 30,500 on a monthly chart. The bears are, are, are all but dead, right? So that's what we're looking for. That could be this month. Be ready for that. Are you ready for that? Are you ready for a 31,000 October close? That could happen. Could happen. Is it likely? No. I don't think so, right? Because of the moving averages, because of weekly major resistance from 29 to 30K. But I'd love to be proven wrong, right? I'd love for the bulls to show up and we close October at 32K. And, you know, it's sticking a middle finger up to all, all the bears, right? That'd be fine. Um... But that's not the odds. If, even if it is, right, we're looking at, you know, you got heavier monthly resistance ahead here even still, right? Um, and, you know, we're not into full-blown bulls, right? Uh, there's, you know, the bears go extinct above, like, you know, 38, 40K, right? Because that really takes out everything on even the monthly scale, right? After here, it's, it's uh, uh, all the money will come, right? All the money is back in. Right, because all the all the people that left will be back. Bitcoin's back over 40k. It's at you know it, it, it that's going to be the narrative, right? Above that, and it's we're going to take off quick. But we'll go from 40k to 70k probably within a handful of months, I would guess. Now, if it if it might it might take a year to get back above 40k, right? It might take uh, this. We might be talking about this next fall, and we're knocking on the door of 40k. That's still a possibility, right? Uh, I think the likelihood of us this time next year, talking October first, um, that we're at all-time highs. Uh, I, I would, I would think that's the odds. And then we go from, you know, spend the good part of the next six, eight, nine, twelve months going from seventy k to ninety, hundred, maybe even higher than a hundred. Right. We'll talk about all that as it goes. But you know, just monthly, monthly chart summary. Hopefully, this helps. Kind of get you on board of what I'm at least thinking. Um, but so far for this, for this, this move is, is like really textbook. Just, just move up, kind of consolidate back. And then, you know, your next move up, right. Going to, you know, summer of next of 2024, it seems absolutely doable that we're, you know, knocking on the door of 50 K, right. It, it seems like this is kind of the, uh, the area where we're going, right. Whether or not it's slower to move or faster to move, we don't know yet, but, uh, certainly the past 24, 48 hours have at least opened that door again uh, to a higher acceleration uh, move quicker than not. But we have our we have our levels, right? First things first, let's get above 30K and then we can talk. Until then, the odds are sideways.